Did you know that abnormal uterine bleeding, also known as AUV, is one of the most common disorders faced by women? I am Dr. Anuradha Kapoor. I'm the Senior Director and Head of Unit at Max Smart Super Speciality Hospital in the Department of Ops and Gynae. There's an acronym known as PAM Cohen, which is described by the International Federation of Ops and Gynae to tell us the reasons for the abnormal uterine bleeding. P is for polyps, that means you can have uterine polyps or cervical polyps, which can be removed hysteroscopically. Adenomyosis is A, that means you can have a disease in which the lining of the uterus goes into the muscle and causes a lot of bleeding and pain, which can be treated by hormones. You can also have leomyoma, that is L, which means fibroids, which can be either submucous inside the cavity of the uterus or in the muscle, or they can be subserosal. There are different ways of treating the fibroids, but the common ones are either a laparoscopic myomectomy or a robotic myomectomy, or there's a medical management for it. Or you can have uterine artery embolization in which we decrease the blood supply to the fibroids. So then you have M is for malignancy. You can have endometrial malignancy, that means cancers of the uterus or of the cervix, which can cause abnormal uterine bleeding, or they can also cause postcoital bleeding, or they can cause intermenstrual bleeding. Then these are the structural defects that are seen in the uterus and the cervix, which can cause this abnormal bleeding. You can also have Cohen, that is the not the physiological defects, like you can have a coagulopathy, that is C, or you can have some ovulatory disorders like polycystic ovarian disease, which is very, very common in young girls. In fact, up to 22% of the young girls have a polycystic ovarian disease in which they have obesity, irregular periods, they have acne, they have hirsutism, and this can be managed by lifestyle interventions like regular walks and uh, no junk food plus some hormonal treatment. Then E is for any kind of endometrial pathology, which is a local pathology, which can cause abnormal uterine bleeding. Iatrogenic could be what sometimes you prescribe hormones and steroids, which can cause irregular bleeding like OCPs if they're not taken regularly. And then N is for any kind of when there are no documented cause, but you can still have irregular bleeding that could be an AV malformation or there could be any other problem locally in the uterus which is causing these abnormal uterine bleeding. So if you have any kind of abnormal uterine bleeding, which could be that means the periods are prolonged or they're very shortened and they come repeatedly in a month or there's intermenstrual bleeding or there's a postcoital bleeding. That means after intercourse you have bleeding or any other kind of abnormal vaginal discharge which is not getting treated by a local treatment. These could be signs and symptoms that you could be having some pathology in the uterus, the ones that I've listed and you will go to your gynecologist who will do your ultrasound your pap smear, she will do endometrial biopsy and then give you further treatment. Like for polyps, we can remove them hysteroscopically. For fibroids, like I've told you, we can either remove them hysteroscopically if they're inside the uterus. If they're in the muscle, we can do a laparoscopic or robotic myomectomy. And supposing this is adenomyosis, we can just give you some hormonal treatment or insert a marina, which has hormones in it, which will take care of the adenomyosis and endometriosis. Malignancy, of course, you will need a surgery for it. And for the other causes that I've listed in the Cohen, you will need specific treatments for that. So my message to you would be that don't ignore these symptoms. Sometimes women think when they're approaching menopause that this is normal. It is not normal to have these kind of abnormal uterine bleedings, the ones that I've told you. If you have any of them, please visit your gynecologist immediately because it could be just a benign disease like a leomyoma, but it could also be a harbinger or a uh, indication that you could be harboring a pre-malignant lesion or a malignancy. So don't neglect yourself. Please visit your gynecologist immediately. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.